UNESCO World Heritage Cities are urban areas that have been recognized for their outstanding cultural or natural value. And when you think about traveling to Mexico, what comes to mind? Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo? Well, travel host Tabitha Lipkin takes us to a place away from the beaches and into the center of Mexico, where you can find not one, but two UNESCO World Heritage Cities. The state of Guanajuato, Mexico is a place that's rich in art, history, culture, and tradition, which is why San Miguel de Allende and Guanajuato City were both named World Heritage Cities. But art is a huge focus in the state, and each year, Guanajuato City hosts one of the biggest art festivals in all of Central America, Festival Internacional Cervantino, a tradition going on for more than 50 years. Uh, you can find a uh, place, you can find a uh, dance, a uh, music, a uh, pa paintings, um, expositions, different uh, forms of art expression. For three weeks, the Cervantino Festival brings artists from all over the world. But the artists who live here say that their surroundings are what inspire them year round. A lot of uh, houses, uh, a lot of color, a lot of nature. So that's. That's combination of everything is like a really inspiration for me and I think for all the artists. All our history and our past, and I think that's what creates this great, great movement. To really know what Mexico is all about, you have to leave the coast and check out what else the country of 125 million has to offer. Yes, it's a sign Mexico, but it's really unique uh, what you can find here in culture, in gastronomic, in architectural, it's a unique, a unique way to uh, know Mexico. So you've seen a huge emphasis, right, on the arts that we see in the state of Guanajuato, but there's also a huge emphasis on culture. And within that culture, it means preserving their old ways of life. However, sharing that with those who might visit has become difficult due to what they've seen through 2023. If the United States have uh, economic problems, no, no travelers. Mm. We, we, we feel that because we are neighbors. Mm. Tomas and his family have been living just outside the city of San Miguel de Allende for four generations and hope that when visitors come to this arts capital, he's able to show them a little more in regards to the old ways of life. For people that are not accustomed to see this uh, part of Mexico, they love it. Traditions, family is the main thing. His ranch takes visitors through his property, showing them traditions he's upheld with his family, including cheese making and horseback riding. But he said that climate change has had a huge impact on their ability to grow crops. And due to several dry seasons, he may have to pivot away from beans and corn to other crops. It's one of the private options to, to start plant uh, like agave or cactus that they don't need uh, much rain. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the next time you're thinking about traveling to Mexico and you want to get away from all the touristy areas at the beach, know that there's two cities in Guanajuato that would love to share their art and culture with visitors. And it's the history. If you want really to know Mexico, you need to come to Guanajuato and to the center and know what it's about our country. So we say we cannot, we cannot travel to the world, but the world comes to us.